Peggy 16. to take the inspiration from the comic books and bring that to the interactive experience so gamers can play as Thor, use his hammer, bring down the thunder and the lightning, just like they experience when they read the comic books as a kid or they'll see in the movie. He is the god of thunder. We really want to express the power that, that he has as a superhero. He's going against big demons and giant trolls scattered across the nine worlds. The bosses of each of these worlds are these monstrous, titanic entities with all sorts of different powers capable of tremendous destruction. It's been great to take ideas and concepts, not just from the comics, but from Marvel themselves, building enemies that are worthy of Thor. The game is not a play-the-movie game. Our narrative is very different. We worked with Matt Fraction, who's one of the scribes for the Thor comic. When we first started talking about the music for Thor, I don't pulled together all the different concept art, the videos from the game. What we actually wanted the music to do is play like a, a thread that is tying the game together from a dramatic point of view. What Anand has done is really bring each world to life and make them feel distinct, but at the same time part of a greater whole. Music is always the emotional dimension. The Thor game is a real opportunity for gamers to finally get a chance to have a dedicated experience where they can play as Thor the entire way through and really get that sense again of, of being a god. The main part of the game is your melee combat. Using your hammer, he has many different combos, and then you also have your god powers. We work the god powers into the combos. He's got thunder. He's got wind moves, which are kind of his people mover, and then lightning, which is obviously one of the key iconic things about Thor. There's a grapple system. Thor literally climbs on top of his enemies in order to get the best vantage point to bring the hammer down. There's something just fun and visceral about playing with a character with a giant hammer, smiting people left and right. It's such a gratifying experience. You know, I, I think people are going to be really excited about being able to get their hands on it. One of the key things to think about in terms of Thor got a thunder for the Wii is it's not a port of the next gen game. It is its own unique. Game. I don't think the Wii has ever had this kind of title on it before. It's much more action driven. I want the player to be able to take away the feeling that they were able to wield the power of Thor. A young gamer can just enjoy swinging the Wii remote around, breaking things, and then a more hardcore gamer will be really impressed with the depth of the combat and the depth of the player progression. We've got a few unique levels that don't appear in the next gen game. We've got our own unique flying levels, which uh, are an entirely different form of gameplay. We feel that you get a better game out of building a project from the ground up rather than bringing it over from a different system. It's given us the opportunity to have unique characters, unique flight levels, and a completely unique ending to the game that features a new experience that you wouldn't get on any of the other consoles. Mm -hmm.